do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Uh, okay. So next up, game switch to Homebody. Homebody. Here we go. Homebody is the way I've heard it described is the outer wilds of horror games and. I think that implies both that you're not supposed to know anything going into it and also that there might be time loop stuff. But I don't know. I am curious about Slay the Princess, but Homebody. Where's that body? It's home. It's the Homebody. You're absolutely right. Okay. Home body. That's the one. Boop. Launching game. It's also worth pointing out that all three of these games are way longer than the rest of the stream. <laughs> and I'm probably not going to do horror for the rest of the stream because um, you know, I get very sleepy and I should probably do stuff that takes a little bit less of brain. But, well, we'll see how it goes. Loading. Well, and depending on how scary it is, like, adrenaline takes this a lot of energy. contains depictions of violence, body horror, and psychological issues, including anxiety, OCD, and depression. This game has an auto feed save feature. Do not turn it off. Home body. New game managed data settings. So, hey, bear that warning in mind out front, eh? Psychological issues, it looks like. Mm. Menu language. English is good. Graphics. This is fine. Gameplay. Tank controls. Gamepad is the default. Tank controls. Resident Evil style. That's some classic horror right there. That is. I'll try it. I know there's running away from the guy in this game. So that ought to make things nice and awkward. Audio. Sure, that seems fine. I'm going to try and half cover this ear here. Let's see here. Synchronized drinking. <laughs> we got an ominous doorway orb. We do. We do. All right, well, apparently they want me to do this on a game pad, and I've got one of those, so I guess let's do it with a game pad. New game. Yes, English, that's fine. Save one, English, yes. I thought that was a four. It, yeah, so did I at first. Loading. Ooh. Mildly retro, I think, in terms of the graphics. Look at them chunky edges on that moon. Oh, yes, mildly retro indeed. Aha! Hi! Is Hi. that me? Tilt L in a direction move. Can't keep thing to run. Running! Run to the light! Ah! That was, there's a shadow in the, oh, hi. I also get that scared when my phone rings. Indeed. 6.05 p.m., Saturday, August 13th. 2,600 messages. That's quite a few. I'm awake. Why did I fall asleep at the side of the road? What was Why going are on? you wearing a hoodie in August? Depends on where we live here, you That's know? fair. Laura. Hey, Emily. You're not giving up already, are you? On what? Yes. I mean, no. I'm on my way there, kinda. Are you panicking? Do you need to pull over? I'm already pulled over. I already did, I'm at the side of the road. I'm trying not to, I don't think I can do this. I already did, I already did. I already did, I'm at the side of the road. Already did what? Panicked or pulled over? Listen, use context clues. Pulled over. I've got 26 unread messages from my friends and I know it's gonna be bad news. I've been sitting at the side of the road for 20 minutes just trying to stay calm and also having hallucinations? About running down hallways and things... Yeah, anyway. But I don't think I can handle it. I'm thinking about turning around. And you were hoping I'd give you permission. I would like permission to turn around, yes. <laughs> Look, you're not going to a funeral. You're going to a cool old house to hang out with your friends and watch a meteor shower. You do this every year, and you always seem to have a good time. First things first, hands on wheel. Key in ignition, start driving. I don't feel like you're supporting me in this particular moment, Laura. <laughs> okay. Great. Guess we're driving. Thanks, Laura. My action control? No. There you go.
I'm going to die, and it's your fault. <laughs> if it's so cool and fun, where are you, Laura? Great question. Emily, it feels like you haven't left the apartment in weeks. Being in the middle of nowhere and watching a meteor shower doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not that. It's like they're sending me, like, pages and pages of instructions on how to get into this weird old house they rented. Like, there's a keypad on the gate, and Gary sent me the code, but I just know I'm going to get locked out somehow, and I'm going to run out of gas trying to get back. The cops are going to find me a week from now, a skeletal husk behind the wheel of my car, clutching my phone. You're spinning yourself in circles, Em. You're fine. You're safe. They miss you. I know. That's what makes it so hard. That's just more of an opportunity to let them down. I know. I know they do. I'm just fucked up about it. I'm already, like, four hours late. It's going to be another hour before I get there. I don't think another hour is going to make things that much worse. Would it hurt to just be honest with them about it? I don't know. I guess I don't know how to say I wasted a bunch of time stalling because I didn't want to come and not make it weird. <coughs> things are already weird enough. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. You really think they won't forgive you for that? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think I'm panicking. Emily. What are you so afraid of? <laughs> it's a horror game, Laura. <laughs> There's a stabby man. <laughs> Wait, am I here? That was a quick hour. That was a quick hour. Start. Start what? Start. Memory log. Gary text. Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kroger down the road. Sorry if we miss you. The gate combination is the third number down on the post-it. See you soon. 420. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. You can recall important facts from the memory log. Press start to open your memory log. I did ready. I did this. I did this. You weren't paying attention. Two memories ever. It's true. Third one down. 8129. Memory log updated. It's Great. It's very secure if you can just try all four of them. Yeah, this is very true. Man, she sure looks 12. Yeah, a little bit. She's not, probably, because driving. But yeah, you know. but... Hey, look, someone's watching me from inside the house. Great. The plant is watching you. The plant... Oh, <laughs> hi! Hi. Hi. How are you? I guess I'm going to go in anyway. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, Cliff. I say nothing. I hate you. You didn't talk to me for a year. I say nothing, literally. <laughs> wow. Great. Gary, there she is, the star of the show. What? What show? What are we doing? What, what, hi. You're finally here, says Francine. Yeah, long drive, huh? Uh, a little bit. It wasn't that bad. I think all in all it was like three and a half hours? Felt more like six from here. We were getting worried about you. Lie, I got delayed by work thing. Lie, my mom killed me up. Lie, I ran into car trouble. Lie, 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 lie. Ah, uh, These are all lies. Does it matter? Blame it on your parents. That's usually the way to go. My mom held me up. I stopped at my mom's place on the way over, and she was being really clingy. You know how it goes. She kept finding little excuses to keep me there. If she's anything like mine, you probably had to reset her router a few times, too. Is this also set in the 90s? <laughs> or 80s? I, and hey, I take it you got my text message. Yep. All of them. <laughs> all 26. Cool. We were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside. I did get inside. Did Pete have any trouble getting here? Who's Pete? Actually... Pete isn't here yet. Uh-huh. He's about 33 hours late, yeah. He was supposed to be here last night. 33 hours is more than one day. What are you talking about? Worst of all, the owner of the house didn't want, us, want to let us in before everyone named on the rental was here. So how did you get in? Yeah, like a server at Olive Garden, not wanting to see it all, all until the whole party had arrived. It took some convincing for him to let us stay. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Is that why Mr. Nest gave us an hour of instructions on how not to wreck the place? Presumably, yes. I think he would have done that either way. He didn't strike me as the kind of guy who gets a lot of company. 
Not to be mean. Was that too mean? He's not even here. It's fine. You're fine. Anyway, come on in, Emily. Make yourself comfortable. I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> For real, we got some catching up to do. How long has it been since I last saw you? Like a year? Apparently like a year. Laura did mention we do this every year, so yes, a year. Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. Wait, is there a meteor shower predictable every year somehow? That doesn't make... How does that work? Anyway. Long time loop. Seems like it. Hey, why don't I take your bag for you? N no. Uh, okay. So now I don't have any stuff when we start out the loop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone's really ha everybody's really happy to have you here. You can tell by the look I on my too. face. I am too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Great. Side eye. Very convincing. I'm so happy. Creepy noises. Door closed behind me. Cool. And now we're trapped in the building. With a moidaloiter. And what's his face? Cliff? Cliff, yeah. Well, who cares about that guy? I'm sure he'll be very pleasant to be stuck oh, around. Definitely. Well, he might just not say anything ever. Especially since he took one pull off that cigarette and then threw it. <laughs> yes, it's true. He's like, well, I guess I'd rather throw this in the grass than um, talk to you, so bye. <laughs> okay, I'm in here now. I can open the door. You can use the interact reveal button to show interactive objects in the environment. Hold light bumper, left bumper to highlight everything nearby that can be interacted with. How about this? Look at the clock. Longo. <laughs> it's 1030. I can turn the lights off. Why would I do that? I can open the door. I can just leave. Examine lock. That's a hell of a lock. That is. Great. Uh button the locking mechanism doesn't have power okay yellow cable leads from the lock mechanism in, into the other room sure i guess check suitcase uh 420. 420 i went the wrong way i went the wrong way great uh inspect this is what i packed i know i was in a hurry but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear what the hell this is so embarrassing Great. What? That's helpful. How long are you going to be here? I don't know. Examine in a glass darkly. In a glass darkly by J. Sheridan Lefanu in three volumes. Volume one, London, R. Bentley and Son, New Burlington Street, 1872. There's, a, there's, there's 456 pages. I can actually read this thing. I can read the whole thing. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> Hello, I'm at the party. I'm going to read this entire book. <laughs> this guy's playing Mario. Hi, Megan. Hello, Megan. How's the Mario? Emily, congratulations on Pumberton. What? Pumberton. Oh, <laughs> thanks. It was pretty fun to do. It's silly, you know. It's not much, but it's cool. How did it feel when you finally got to hold the thing you made in your hands? Really bizarre, but cool, definitely. It's kind of mortifying to see your crappy art on the thousands of night glossy pages like that. Like, oh, crap, some poor schmuck is going to pay money for this? Oh, it's a comic. Hey, this poor schmuck is happy with his purchase. Your work looks really nice. The gouache stuff is incredible. I don't know what that word means. Gouache? Gouache. It's a type of paint. Oh. Ah, um, thank you. Again. Emily, you're allowed to accept a compliment. No. That sounds fake and like a scam. <laughs> okay, Cliff. Jeez, Megan, it's been so long. How long have you been? You guys already went out to watch the Persades? Persades? I'm going to go say hi to the other kids. Uh, how is Megan? How are you doing? Jeez, Megan, it's been so long. How you been? Sure has, though, I mean, the list of updates is short. Not a bad thing, just like I'm still doing the same stuff, working, gaming, having out-of-body experiences. You know how it goes. Out-of-body experiences? You're still working in the photo studio, right? You're seeing others? Seeing the others? Out-of-body experiences? Out-of-body experiences? I'm not sure I do know how that goes. Maybe they're not out-of-body experiences exactly. What's it called? Sleep paralysis? Oh, good. Oh, uh, yeah. Isn't that the thing where you're held in an icy grip, motionless as being beyond your understanding, stares at you through your doorway? Nah, that ain't it. Anyway, I'm good, is what I'm saying. <laughs> How's your dad? Fine, I guess. We just stick talking about food and movies. We liked one, then, then it's all right. Like, the only quality time I ever spend with him is watching TV in silence, and I think I'm fine with that. Have you ever tried to play video games with him? Nah, he thinks they're dumb and too much work. He's not wrong. Kind of is, though. You guys already went out to watch the Persades? What are you playing? I'm going to catch up with the, with the Persades. You guys already went out to watch the Persades? We went last night, yeah. 
It was a bummer not to have the whole group there, but it was good. Did you actually see a comet? Was it fun this time? We're going to go out again, right? Uh, did you actually see the comet? Nope. I gave my eyes time to adjust and everything. Burned the stars into my retinas. The Persades are supposed to be at their peak this whole weekend, so it's not too late. Not that the meteor shower is actually why we do this. Francine and Cliff both said they saw one last night. Saw one last night. Oh, what you playing? What are you playing? This is a game called Purd Mystery. It's a super rare game that's mostly on unlicensed copies like this one. I'm the little guy with the hat. I'm getting attacked by birds, I guess? They're throwing eggs at me. <laughs> unlicensed? What's a purd? Wait, what is a purd? Wait, what's a purd? I don't know. That's what it says on the front. That's what it says out on the front. Pado. Other than the fact that they're irrationally violent, I don't know if they're different from normal birds. Is that a typo or what? I think I empathize with this game. <laughs> is that the history the title refers to? I empathize with the game. I've always thought birds were malicious animals. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. It's in the eyes. I don't trust them. It says it's an egg jump action game. Too bad that genre never took off. <laughs> uh, you said it's unlicensed? I'm just going to talk to Megan all night and then get killed. It's fine. Clone cartridges like these were popular in countries where the major consoles didn't get distributed or were too expensive. A lot of people had no way of knowing there was any other option. The bootlegs were the only choice. So people grew up with these instead of the real thing? Didn't anyone get in trouble for that? And there were clone consoles too? Uh, the real thing. Like a divergent cultural history or something. Exactly. I think it's super interesting. These things really flew under the radar, and in the U.S. they're mostly remembered as a funny, shitty curio. But there are people who, like me who are just as interested in collecting them. As a funny, shitty curio? For preservation sake, to play them? Uh, to play them? Honestly, emulating them is always cheaper and easier. Retro collection is usually predicate, predicated on nostalgia, like recapturing the feeling of your childhood and getting back things that you feel like you lost to time. The truth is, I didn't like my childhood, and I'm glad most of that stuff is gone. Mm. I guess I kind of love old stuff. I'm sorry, Megan. So you live vicariously through other people's shit? <laughs> That's helpful. Sorry. Thanks. I'm over it. I know your childhood was no picnic either. It wasn't, but we can commiserate together, so it was worth it, right? Sure. Dot to dot to dot. The only things I'm nostalgic for are things that I didn't actually have. Things that I wanted but never got to touch or things I never knew existed. Like this copy of Purd Mystery. I'm excited to be able to play it while I'm here. Were you always planning to spend the whole trip gaming? You didn't bring that thing with you. Where'd that thing come from? Uh, where'd the thing come from? Purd Mystery was just here waiting for me when I got here. You can play too. Go ahead and give it a try. Video games really brought us together, didn't they? What's the plan for tonight? I'm going to buy but dude, dude, dude. They brought us together. Yeah, games get a bad rap for being an isolating, depressing thing, but I owe a lot of good stuff in my life to them. Stuff like my friendship with you, hooray. That doesn't stop me from feeling like a fucking dork sometimes, but you know. I can't really keep up with them anymore. There's a lot in their lives in some of those old games. I'm a shut-in and I don't even play games! <laughs> uh, there's a lot of... yeah, that. A lot of experiences in places that never existed. Totally. I remember pouring so many hours into a single save of some of those brutal old RPGs especially. The fear of death around any corner of the game makes really stress me out. The fact that anyone can manage with only one save file is unbelievable to me. I could never jump from wild to, like wild from genre to genre, game to game like you could. I'm gonna go with the save. <laughs> I like saving. <laughs> I always had dozens with backups. It makes me realize I was probably dealing with OCD way before I ever knew. Ever knew. Even knew. I feel ya. I remember one time I spent more time in a week in Morrowind than I did in my actual life, just falling asleep and waking up and going right back to Balmor I or Dragonius or wherever. Never did that. No. I, never once. <clears throat> never once. I certainly didn't have a wall where I collected the helms of the fancy guys from the main city because I could sneak up on them and one-shot them. That was one of the first times I remember lucidly realizing I was depressed. Hooray! Maybe games actually are bad. I'm feeling very understood right now. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being you. Thank you, too. It's sweet of you to check in with me, Emily, but you should go say hi to everybody else. I'll still be here. Wait, by the way, have you heard the house rules yet? No. House rules? Nope, I just got here. How complicated can it be? Now tell me about them. Yeah, it's one of those things. The owner of the house left us a big binder of rules we have to follow. They're pretty basic, aside from the, some weirdly specific rules about silverware. The only part that really matters is that we're supposed to stay out of the cellar and the attic. I am not here to rock any boats. I wouldn't want to set foot in either of those places anyway. Wait, why? Now I want to know what I'm missing. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, I, I just got here. It's fine. No rocking the boats. Same. There's a bed made up for you in the little bedroom by the study. Take your time unpacking, though. 
we're not going to be up to anything for a while, so you can get settled in. Okay, thanks. Hi, how you? Talk to Gary. Hi, Gary. I was trying not to stand in the way of Megan, but okay, <laughs> fine. Gary! Emily! I'm so happy you're here. Gary! I am so happy you're here. How you feeling? I'm fine. You're not. Fine isn't a feeling, but I'll take it. How was the convention? Lie, it was good. It wasn't worth it. I spent two days in a hotel room with eight other people. Eh. That one. I slept on a pile of towels under an ironing board. Yikes. Still, I'm glad you're here. Are you excited to get out there and see the Persaids? I guess so. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm all shaky. I feel like I drank a ton of coffee. But I had to stop doing that years ago. Wow, you're pretty into space stuff now, huh? Oh, Emily, I don't know if this is a door you want to open. I have spent a lot of time on astronomy with Wikipedia lately. It's a pestilence. <laughs> you're right, better not. Maybe some other time. Lie, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some other time. Okay, so, to start out, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a Perseid? What we call the Perseids are actually bits of junk that fall <laughs> off a much bigger comet, the Swift Tuttle. It has this whole cloud of bits that follows it around its orbit, and those bits get burned up in our atmosphere, hence the streaks of light. In fact, some of the little bits have been a part of the cloud for a thousand years. Neat, isn't it? To think about how it went so far away just to come right back to us again. Gary, we haven't really caught up in a while. How's the weekend been going? I'm going to catch up with everybody else. <laughs> um... Uh, how's the weekend? It's been good. Cliff has been a little clingy, but it's been good just hanging out and taking in the atmosphere. Not quite like old times, but I guess we can't expect them to be. Have you seen Francine much? Megan's been holding up well. Cliff really values you, doesn't he? Uh, sure, that one. He does, but I think he values the concept of me more than he actually appreciates me for who I am. Like I'm Cliff Jr. or something. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, he used to do that to me too. <laughs> oh, so X maybe? He, and he changes the subject when you try and talk about yourself, right? You're lucky. That's the only way he values you. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that one. Oh, immediately. I don't think he even knows he's doing it. It's weird how when you see people again for the first time in a while, they seem like exaggerated versions of themselves. But I know that's in part because I'm exaggerated too. Gary, we haven't been caught in a while. What's the plan for tonight? Um, what is the plan for tonight? We were talking about watching a movie later, I guess. For now, I'm just going to watch Megan play video games and see if Cliff needs help in the kitchen. Cliff is working on dinner right now, but he says he should be done soon. Uh, this house is amazing. I don't know anything about it. We haven't caught up in a while? We haven't. Not that things have actually changed. And that's mostly a good thing. I'm still noodling around in Illustrator all day at the glove factory and hanging with Megan and Cliff a bunch. Life's pretty good. Things are good at the glove factory? I'm glad the others are still around for you. Are you still working on comics? Uh, this one. Yeah, Megan and Cliff are a lifeline. Anyway, things are good. I was out the other night with some friends. We went to a dive bar nearby to low-key celebrate my pal Ashley's lizard's birthday. <laughs> We drank too much in honor of the little bastard and ended up at one of those touristy pick-and-mix candy shops, which is not a good thing for a drunk person to have access to. You just get too excited and start grabbing all the things you loved as a kid, and then you realize that gummy cola bottles suck, and it's like, why did I get so many of these? <laughs> anyway, it was pretty dumb fun, but fun nonetheless. You do anything exciting lately? I went to breakfast with Laura last week. Dot, 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 dot. Fun. <laughs> anyway, Emily, you just got here, so nobody likes Laura. Got it. You should go to... Go say hey to everyone else. I'll still be here. Okay. Bye, Gary. Open door. Oh, look, it's Cliff. Hi, Cliff. I guess I'm supposed to talk to you. Hi. Hi, Cliff. Oh, hey. Who are you again? <laughs> wow. Okay. Rules binder. The binder's full of pages and pages on notes on a how to care for the house and its contents. The others really weren't kidding. It's kind of obsessive. I flipped through it a bit. It's open to a page about the cellar and the attic being off limits. Uh-huh. Gets weirdly personal about what an invasion of privacy it would be to go into these areas without permission. There's something about a fee for emotional damages. Cool. Sounds normal. Uh, hide! Great. Good to know. Pamphlet. What's cooking? Fire safety in the kitchen. Remember, food isn't the only thing you can burn. Always be careful when cooking. First degree burns. The burn may appear full and red. A first degree burn only affects the first layer of skin. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
There we go. Secondary burns, blisters, blotchiness, severe swelling. Both the outer layer and lower layers of the skin are affected. Third degree burns may appear white, black, charred, waxy, or leathery. The skin has been destroyed under the fatty tissue. Seek medical attention immediately. Did you know? Sculpture from boiling water and steam cause thousands of hospital admissions a year. Don't let your guard down. Right? This is a five-page flyer and don't burn yourself. <laughs> Are you safe in the kitchen? Take this test and find out. You can One, you can put out a stove top fire with a cup of water. True or false? False. The first degree burn is painful. False. Burn injuries can be treated with raw egg whites. I don't know that one. Uh, let's I go with true. False. It's false? I it's think. false. Steam burns are not severe injuries. False. <laughs> Five. You can only get tetanus from wound contact with rust. False. Answer key. False, this will cause the burning liquid to flash on your skin. False, the third degree burn is painless. False, rag whites can contain, can contain salmonella and for, can cause further infection. False, steam is hot, it will burn badly. Unlike dry heat, steam heat can immediately penetrate the lowest layers of skin and cause severe damage that won't be visible to the naked eye. False, burns can give you tetanus. Well, I was figuring that was probably the case since you mentioned it. <laughs> Two, these answers might all be false, but you know what's true? Staying safe is up to you. <laughs> Great, thank you. Burner, touch it. <laughs> there's donuts I can't have them inspect parm eggplant parm in progress cool so Cliff's doing that guess he'll just do that thing and that's fine pizza is there any place else I can go from in here can I run I can run hooray clack 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 read guest book what a wonderful year I've spent living in this thriving little hub to bang your head against the wall over an album that just won't come together painful. But when it's a group of friends all struggling to wring the creativity out of their adult brains, divine. It would be great if I could remember more of it. Maybe by the time a future guest reads this, getting hot water in the upstairs shower will no longer require an intricate ritual of faucet jiggling and prayers to God, knowing Parker, I doubt it. Less than three, KCF, 1978. Okay. My stay in this haven for hooligans has been a joy. Despite the best efforts from the inexplicable clangs upstairs, I was actually able to complete my manuscript in my time here. My most humble thanks to Clara for her thoughtful critiques and to Parker for his theories on my work, which never failed to entertain. I will send you all copies for the study if I can ever publish the damn thing. Jonathan Stakes, also 78. I move out tomorrow. Might as well leave an autograph behind, though I highly doubt it will net you any money in any possible future. Maybe I'm just being sentimental. It's hard not to be in a place like this. Best wishes to all Parks who never did show me what you were working on in the attic. Dominica March, 1981. You live in a place for so long that it becomes a part of you. This person has no capitals, I think. It was an honor to have been here, to breathe this dusty, rarefied air for such a significant chapter of my youth. The upstairs windows glow from my heart now. I hope I've left a small imprint behind in return, other than forgotten tchotchkes. I see you all from that sweet window, Claire Ridge Jones, 1982. The window? That one, with the person in it. I never was the best with words, but what you had here was very special. Take care. Dalton Rhodes, 1986. Welcome to my home. I hope it feels like your own for the duration of your stay. Kindly peruse the binder in the kitchen for an outline on keeping this old place in one piece. Remember to leave a review. This is the coolest Airbnb I've ever rented. Amy, summer 09. Okay, so it's at least in the tens, in the, uh, past the aughts. I love you forever, Mark. Happy anniversary from Hannah. Quirky vibe. Loved it. Thank you, Heather. Don't know why this feels like a yearbook, but this place is cool. Hags, Gary. <laughs> oh, Thank hey. you for having video games, Megan. <laughs> nice to leave a written note for once on real paper, even. Cliff. Wait, these are all your friends. They are. It's true. They are from my friends. Inspect cables. Two heavy gauge cables, one orange, one blue, lead from the ceiling and down into the floor. Okay. Open door. Hello. I have a flashlight automatically. 43. What does that note say? Reminder, the fluid in this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. Note, when improperly calibrated, pumps position above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps position below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. Okay. Guess that might come up, I guess. Tank controls. Tank controls. Check device. 1913. Cool, thanks. Door. Locked. Read newspaper article. The Chimpton Tipper, October 8th, 1978. Review Carpenter's Dell at the end of its struggle. Picture at Carpenter's Deli at its ho day. 
it's heyday. It's way staffs are under the corner. It was a main saying customer and self-described local guru Parker Nest. Some commenters noted, noted the correlation between Nest disappearing from his daily lunches and the eventuality of Carpenter's downfall. Cool, thanks. Uh, switch. Oh, light. Very good. I shall leave now. I shall waste your electricity and do nothing more. Hello. I'm here now. This is the entrance. Can I go upstairs? Safely? As long as I don't go to the attic, I'm fine, right? Probably fine. Hi! Who are you? Examine bookshelf, I guess. One of the books is missing from an otherwise full bookshelf. Okay. Probably secrets. Hello. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Francine! Francine! Hey! Francine! France, Fr Fr Francine. Stop. Francine. So, Francine, I'm here. Oh, hey, Emily. Glad you could make it. Your room's down the hall. Yeah, sorry I'm so late. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Did you think I wouldn't make it? Sorry I'm so late. My mom's really been monopolizing my time while I've been in this town. I'm really going to lean on this lie. Dot, 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 dot. No need to apologize. Well, thanks for putting this whole thing together. Again, no problem. Hope you've been well. I've been good. Really busy. Just nonstop working. Seems like it's been paying off. I saw Pumberton at Borders. Congrats. Borders. Borders. Wow. Thanks. My third grade art teacher started writing books for her grandkids and needed someone to draw them. And we kept, we had kept in touch online, so I kind of lucked into it. How nice. That's very sweet. She's smiling, but I can't tell if she means it. Since you're here, have you heard the house rules yet? Uh, yeah, the guy just knows the place is pretty precious about it, huh? Who needs rules? Uh, y yeah. Yeah. I'm glad somebody else was on top of it. Oh, and by the way, something's wrong in the bathroom. That's not the start of a good story. <laughs> nope. They're old pipes, I guess. And they get backed up sometimes. They work, but there's this big weird pump on the wall that's supposed to keep things flowing. Oh, that thing, yeah. Right away, Cliff came in and messed with it, and I yelled at him, and now we're not going to touch it again. Got it. Cool. Francine, it's been a while. Cliff was kind of shitty when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? I'm going to go say hi to the other kids. Let's start with this. Francine, how are you? It has... So, how was the drive? What? Did you take the 80, or... What are you, my dad? You know I had the same drive as you. I did it a good, at a good 30 hours ago, but we're coming from the same place. Right, uh, of course. Apparently we have nothing to talk about. How you been? Pretty okay, I think. Finally doing a bit better with... Everything... I've been making a new friend since you moved. Are you still doing freelance writing? Do you ever talk to these knuckleheads these days? Uh, freelance writing? Doing, like, magazine copy? Aggregator website copy, but yes. Today the path to the great American novel is paved with li listicles, sadly, but there's momentum. Um, have you been meeting new people here? I mean, sure. I've been working my way into a few circles of friends. It's been slow, but I'm being proactive. I believe in you. This stuff comes to time. Me, I find rewarding social interactions pretty much <laughs> everywhere. Too busy to work with, make friends, huh? How about we don't be a dick? I believe in you. Time isn't really an object aside from freelance. I've got nothing but time. I've really got nothing but time. I'm working on the social stuff, but... Da -da 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 Most of the people I talk to on a daily basis are just kind of terrible. I get what you mean. Even terrible people can come around eventually. Things have been hard for me, too. Talk about me! No, I get what you mean. People really stress me out sometimes. That's why I stick to people I know. But the pool of people you know thins out over time. Before I left home, the only people I knew were Cliff, Gary, Megan, and Pete. Same. And I mean, exact same. Them and Laura, I guess. Oh, how's Laura been? She's been your roommate now for what, almost two years? Laura? She's doing... Great! She's been out of the apartment more than usual for work stuff, but she's been good. Wild that we've been living together for almost two years now. I'm really grateful for her. Oh, good. Is she still working in... Da data entry? Data analysis? Yeah. <laughs> she's super supportive to me. With without her, I would have fallen apart by now. Yeah, she's great. Um, She's very supportive. She made me come here. I didn't want to. How nice. I always regretted not getting to know her better. Yeah, she seemed to like you, too. The time that you met... That one time... We went out to breakfast last week. That sounds nice. How's the trip been treating you so far? Cliff was being shitty. 
How how are you? <laughs> it's been good. A few wrinkles, but mostly good. Everybody's still basically themselves after all this time. Cliff's been a bit of a prick, but what else is new? And Gary and Megan have really been getting along, though Megan has mostly been parked in front of that video game. I thought Cliff had gotten better over the years. Making himself isolating? Is she doing okay? I'm bummed I have to cram so much into a short trip. Cliff better getting? But I guess not that much better. Partial credit, then, but it doesn't really absolve him from my mind. I have a soft spot for Cliff as an irascible little brother, in an irascible little brother kind of way, but he's frustrating, and he doesn't take to everyone like you, like he did to you. Huh? Or Gary. I don't know if he and I are still friends, I guess. Cliff takes a kind of delicate touch. Um. Uh, hmm. I also recognize now that I haven't actually looked at chat for, like, a long time. Does time pass? It's paused. It's a pause symbol. It's paused. I'm going to catch up on chat. How are you? It's not a horror game yet, but I'm guessing that this is, this is context. Meeting my friends. It's very important. Let's see here. Um, how far? Okay. Synchronized. We got an ominous doorway orb. Dorbway. Nice. Yeah, there are annual showers. As the Earth passes through an orbital pathway of comets, which are full of dust and tiny rocks. Persades are annual. Gouache handles like watercolor, but it's more opaque. That is not how I've been pronouncing persades. Well, I don't know how it's pronounced. <laughs> Birds are malicious. It's the eyes. Have you ever seen a cockapo? That's not a bird. It's like a potato, a mossy potato. There is no malice in the cockapo's heart. Only shouting. The reason I say shouting is because male cockapo will boom to interact to attract mates, and the sound can be heard over a kilometer. Wow. Sadly, I have morning stuff and have to head to bed. Thanks again for the stream, and best of luck with the rest of the marathon. I'm guessing you're already gone, but thank you for coming. Ah, uh, farewell, KR. Good night. Is it not Perseids? I don't know. I need to look it up. I've had a steam bun. That is absolutely false. Wow, rude. You can have different traffic at different times of day. Maybe she saw a deer or something. You know, there... These aren't very good friends, and now I understand the anxiety. Some of them seem okay, but... Emily, your friends suck, except Megan. Yeah, Cliff and Francine seem awful. And that one guy, I guess? Megan and that guy was also in the tea room. We were fine. Gary, yeah, true. It is Perseids. Perseids. Very good. I'll try to retain that. Arrow. Confirmed with the Perseids. Okay. Um... Or Gary? Or Gary? Or Gary. Or Gary, yes. I never see one of those two without the other anymore. They both really miss you, though. Francine, I heard you were actually saw a comment this time. Cliff was kind of shitty. We were just talking about Cliff. Let's talk about Cliff. Cliff was shitty. Anything other than his usual attitude? No, I haven't. You know how cold he can be. I'm sure he's just being rude for rudeness's sake. This is worse than usual. He's avoiding eye contact, Francine. I haven't heard from Cliff in months. Um, this... This. He's avoiding eye contact. Emily, I get startled when Cliff does make eye contact, but now that I think of it, he's been rude to me too. He hasn't been himself when he isn't talking to Gary. I guess I just chalked that up to him being a jerk. Uh, you saw a comet? A meteor, not a comet, but yes. It was amazing. Humbling, kinda. Makes you find, feel kinda small, huh? You weren't too nervous after last time, Maria. Is everyone getting along okay? What happened last time? What happened last time? You mean, was I afraid of ending up with a concussion again? Uh, apparently, yes, I did mean that. The thought definitely crossed my mind, but I'm not going to let it ru let last time ruin it for me. It's nice to be back in touch with everybody. It feels kind of like a dream. I'm glad to see you in one piece, I mean. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. Speaking of stability, um, I'm glad you didn't get hurt. That nobody got hurt, I mean. You're referring to the last time we went out to watch the Perseids? It's been on my mind, yeah? Emily, I wasn't paralyzed and I didn't go missing. I fell and hit my head. Sure, we spent a portion of the night in the ER, but that was its own kind of togetherness, wasn't it? Right. I have complicated feelings about that night for sure. Why don't you go do something else, Emily? I don't want to waste too much of your time. Mm. You're not wasting my time. I'm wasting yours, huh? Ha 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 ha. Great. Well, I get along with everybody, clearly. Examine the Bhagavad Gita. The Song of Celestial, or Bhagavad Gita from the Ma Mahabharata. It's the whole Bhagavad it's the Gita? Whole, it's the whole Bhaga Bhagavad Gita, yes. Tr Good. From the Sanskrit text. It's, it's just here. It's just there. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. 
Look at that, look at that. Okay, so what else we got around here? Door. Francine. Window. Interact. Look at that. It's Makar. There's a page. Look at page. Parker, thank you for the vials. I swear these are the last I'll need. Do you remember to change your bandages? Because I do not plan to take you to the AR again. Do remember to change your bandages, rather. Okay. The work will be done soon. Rest assured, it is as convoluted as you feared. See. Okay. Uh. Great. Oh, bye, Francine. I'm gonna go this way. Open the door. I don't like this room. I don't like this camera angle. Open the door. Can. Check machine. What does this happen? What's, what? Oh, it's 9 o'clock. Open door. Okay, we got a page. Read manuscript. Eulogy for the chosen few. Holy lightning strikes thrice. You were baptized in a great gunshot of it. The halo your skull makes against the night. There is little to do but welcome it. That swallowing dark. Welcome what moves beneath your flesh. Greet the worms in your lungs. Here they are at home. Look to that distant star, that cold, coy wink, and rejoice. A new you has risen. Emerge from your skin, then discard the husk. You will not recognize the thing you used to be. From the dirt and from the skies, we have made you whole. From your hands falls a soft summer rain. From your eyes, a cleansing fire. Cherish your rewards and look back upon the path you created to paradise. An altar, a chapel, that sacred place where you confess the things you thought you were better than. This is written on a piece of loose leaf notebook paper <laughs> who wrote this <laughs> use computer examine post-it note 12 next to the keypad diagram there's a sticky note all that's on it is a number written on thin in thone open block letters 12 okay uh examine flyer it's a flyer for an electronic lock maybe from the 80s the illustrations have that gauzy airbrush look that did then it says it has an optional ele electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate on loss of power. Accompanying the flyer is a handwritten note. Read it. Clara, someone will be coming by from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form and lock up the schematic combination in the cellar cage when done. Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you, Pete. Barker, why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? Security. I can't tell if you're working to keep something out or something, keep something in, and why would they even want to go into the attic? I want to see you leave the house again someday. See. Parker, I assume, is the person who sets the rules around here. Uh, Clara is the one who sees everyone from the window. Yeah, seems like. Look into hole. That was uncalled for. Lightning. Yeah. Pamphlet. Oh, did the power just go out? A safe kid's guide to logging online. Always ask your parents permission before surfing the web. Don't give anyone your personal information like what school you go to or your birthday. If you see something that makes you feel funny, tell a trusted adult right away. Never agree to meet anyone you met on the internet in real life, ever. Very bad things can happen to you. Ask yourself, can you ever really know a person? Would you even want to? If you wouldn't say it in front of grandma, don't say it online. Don't open emails or instant messages from strangers. They could have viruses, bad pictures, or could just be trying to play a mean trick on you. Don't risk it. Okay. Never you. trust anyone. I'm pretty sure the power went out. It seems so. I'm going to try and find other people. Where are the other people? Hey, other people. Hi. How you doing, Gary? Gary. Hi. Gary. What's up? Gary, you know what's up with Cliff? I'm going to try and fix this. Fix. I'm going to try to fix this. I'm going to try and fix this. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Hi. Francine. 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 Emily. That lightning was intense. You know what to do about the power outage? Hell, we don't even have any notes on what to do if the power is out. I suppose Cliff may be the person to ask about that. He works on electrical equipment, doesn't he? Cliff isn't talking to me. He hasn't really been helpful so far. Why don't we try to solve this one without him? Cliff isn't talking to me. Shoot. That's so like him. In the meantime, I guess we need to figure something out. Oh, gosh. This is a little creepy. I mean, yeah, but I see you're not walking towards Cliff. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> Megan. Megan? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. This is a little creepy. You're not wrong. Hi, Cliff. Can you get over yourself for a second? 
You're looking at me like you know who I am. I don't think you do. So no? <laughs> K. Well, um, cables go into the basement. Guest book, sure, sure, sure. This is a window. Um, time passes in real time. I sure wish I knew what I was... Oh, this is the basement. I'm not supposed to go down here. I'm not supposed to go down here. I'm not supposed to... Why is the door open? Okay, um... Where did everybody go? Examine Dracula? It's just Dracula. The whole thing. It's just the book Dracula. Check drawers. Check drawer 12. 12. Check drawer 12. Oh, I guess this is what that 12 sticky note was all about. Inside drawer 12 is a ripped piece of paper. It's page 110. The text is about something called The Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. Where is the book this is missing from? Uh, the Watcher that the writer or protagonist is afraid of. So one of the books around here is missing page 110. <sighs> I've read Dracula, but I don't remember it well enough to know this. 110. Uh, nope. Not that one. Can't see myself over here. Hello, Gary. Um... 110. <laughs> I don't have a better idea, okay? I don't think it's this one, but you might as well look. Nope. Okay. I really don't like this area. I don't think you're supposed to like it. Eyes. Hello. Stairs. More stairs. Where does these go? Same Wait, this is, the, this is the entrance. Did I come in full circle somehow? Fuck yes. So the lock is... Doesn't have power. Yellow cable leaves the lock. Mystery doesn't mean to the other room. Other room is over here. Flip switch doesn't matter. Yellow cable goes here. Examine power box. There's a strange power box mounted in the wall. It looks like it can provide power to one of the two cables that leave the box on the left and right side. But the box itself needs to be powered on first. There's a yellow and black striped cable coming from the bottom of the box from the floor. I gotta go into the basement. A yellow cable leads from the left side of the box and out of the foyer. A teal cable leads from the right side and up into the ceiling. Yeah, the one, the yellow one leads to the dock door lock. We're locked in. I gotta go in the basement. Flipping the switch does nothing. Of course. Uh, examine plans. 20x, 2x4, oak untreated, 1 times 24 by 80 door, single panel oak finish, sheeting, stainless steel, tungsten, assist with self-organization, door hinge, brass, deadbolt, preferable doorknob, weather stripping, aluminum window framing, dual wind layer window panel, copper wiring, kitchen chair should suffice for chair, Clara, please arrange delivery in directly to the house, thank you. So Clara's the other person, and Parker's the one who makes the rules, and maybe gonna murder us all. Maybe. Check machine. Uh huh. There's a little thing over here. This. Examine post it. A sticky note on the power box is a drawing of a little sea urchin. Or maybe one of the little nautical mines or something. <laughs> it's mine sweeper, kind of. Okay. Interact. That's the pump. Sure. That cable. The orange cable from the first floor snakes under the ceiling disappears into a hole partway up the wall. But I can't get through there. Because this door is not a door. It's not a door. This is a door, though. Open door. Not budging. I think the locking mechanism has been controlled by a near light, nearby device. Yeah, presumably this thing. Memory log updated. Sure, man. Okay. What's this? Keypad. I don't have a code for this. I could try 420. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, hey, look, there's a murderman. There's a murderman. I flee the murderman. I flee the murderman. I flee from the murderman. Where are my friends? Should I be leaving this guy, leading this guy to them? Probably not. Where's the place I was able to hide? Oh, hey, body. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is Francine, she's dead. She's been stabbed. This can't be happening. Okay. Francine dead. Gary, he's dead. There's blood tucking through his clothes. Great. Uh, I don't remember where the hide closet was. Genuinely, I have no idea. Why is this not a thing? Oh, he's in there, huh? I can hear somebody in there. Oh, he's probably just on the other side, following me, about to murder. Of course. I genuinely don't remember where the closet was. I don't remember either. Door. Bathroom. Not helpful at the moment. Oh, hey, this is stairs. I've come in full circle again. But that does mean you can, like, juke the guy if you go full circle. I assume... Oh, hey. Hi. Cool. Good. Well, you're slow, but not that slow. Hey, look. Dead people. Gary and Megan are dead. Cliff and Megan. I don't know what you just said. Cliff and Megan. Cliff and Megan. Sorry. Gary was upstairs already dead. Under the bed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... That's not anything. It's just like a little window area. That is two. Uh... Closet. Hide. I don't know if this is going to do me any good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, what's my purpose? The guy knows I'm in the house somewhere. Presumably, if he loses my trail, he's just going to start searching more intently, and then he's going to find me, but... Huh. Well, this is getting me nowhere, obviously, but, like... It sounds like maybe getting closer, but... It's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. Moving slowly. Can't hear me running, I guess. I hope he can't smell me or something. That'd be weird. I think he's moved past the door. But just the fact that he doesn't know where I am isn't very helpful. I need the power to be back on to be able to even affect the door. But there's a murder man, so like... I gotta solve puzzles while dodging Murder Man. Yeah, it feels very Clock Tower. Hmm? It feels very Clock Tower. Yes, yes it does. He's not fast. He's have to not get cornered. I don't even hear him anymore. I guess I gotta leave? Great, I'm making noises again. You'll leave here for the chosen few. I already read that. Check machine. Examine plans. Parker, I've tempered my doubts with the acclimator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't about some old serial. This isn't some old movie serial. If the electricity did work that way, what are you planning to use it for? Soon I will just be just as the modern Prometheus. P. Cool, thanks. Schedule. Day with Parker. Four, rise. 405, cold shower. 415, coffee, paper, ideation. 425, ideation. End of the watch at 5. Rise again. Re-energize at 11. Hot shower. Pranayama. Focus on the breath. Zazen. Ruminating on pawn koans, mostly regarding being beaten with a stick. TM. Focus on the intake and release of energy. Accumulator cleaning and upkeep. Center my internal locus of control. Banish external negative energy. Lunch. Post-lunch walk. Ideation. Accumulator observation meditation. Automatic drawing. Exploratory stream of consciousness writing. Next nightcap. Old-fashioned. Some grass, perhaps. 22. Preparation for liminal dreaming. Placing of bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch. An adaptation of Dolly's famous The Slumber with a Key technique on which I've iterated. Involving repeated periods of wakefulness, a gentle flirtation with the beginning stages of REM. There was once a natural, a natural medieval habit of second sleep, and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch between the first second sleep and second. This was used as the most productive time of the day, in which a family accomplished most of their tasks. I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. 
But are you the murder man? Or did he do some sort of weird Frankenstein thing? It sounds like he's right outside, so I'm going to just step in here for a second. What did you say about Frankenstein? I said, or did he do some weird Frankenstein thing? I mean, maybe. Sure, maybe. <sighs> well, I got to do something. I have a memory log. It does pause the game to go to like, look at my memory log. What do we got here? Front door lock. One panel. My note, page 110. Ah, that's the corner of the page that I found. Right, right, right. Desk note, that led to the page 110. This, do this is similar to the Outer Wilds oh, ship yeah. log thing, now that I think about it. Gary text. Combination for my, brief, my, my suitcase, which doesn't do me that much good. Front door lock is circled, so I assume that's important because that's how you escape the house. Aha! Used to go to the cabin to watch them in August when I was growing up. In 2020, Nix and I went to watch them at the parking lot for Renfest, and it was neat. There it is, the whole thing. Oh, it just occurred to me. So it's way too late for this extra life. But if you haven't played or seen it, for next year's horror segment, No One Lives Under the Lighthouse? I don't know if I know oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Soundtrack for killing two, for, from Killing Two Birds starts playing. It's not Parker. It's Parker Monster. Maybe. <laughs> I make so much noise when I walk around. It's a real problem. I also can't look in a straight line because Resident Evil rules. Cool. There he is. He's not fast, but it's not that helpful that he's not fast. Open. Open it. It's locked, of course. I'm stuck. I think I'm trapped. Why are you not approaching me? Are you stuck on the door? The game is all chunky. Why is the game all on chunky? Why chunky game? We good here? I think I think the killer's broken. <laughs> the killer has broken. If I go in here, what happens? He's right outside. Presumably he sees where I go. Oh, this is broken now. I think the game is glitching a little bit. Yeah, sure seems to be. Now he's moving. He's a moving, he's a stabbing. He's a juking, he's a jiving. I'm gonna die. Hi, I'm dead. I'm dead! I've died. Well, at least he did it in one strike. Is that a okay. mask or is that his face? What? Is that a mask or is that his face? I assume mask, but I don't know. So anyway, we're all dead. And there goes the Limpyman. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. It's like a, what does that remind me of? What does that face remind me of? The long sloping noise and so, oh, hey, look, title screen, homebody. You must die first before the game can start. Great. Oh, it's seven o'clock. We're starting over. It's a time paradox in a glass darkly. Page, Page 110. 110. <laughs> Do 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 ba do 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 ba do do do. I wonder why I can remember this. So this is where the missing page from the study drawer came from. Now, what do these color bars mean? Blue, red, red, yellow, one, three, three, two. What do they mean? I don't know, but it got added to my memory log, didn't it? Did it? It should have. It did. Book clue. Great book club. Ah da 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 da. Uh, from the noise Jack made, it sounds like they know what no one lives no one lives under the lighthouse is. It does seem that way. There goes my hero. <laughs> there goes my <laughs> hero. It's like that dude from Beetlejuice when he stretches his face out. Oh, yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? But the, the serene expression also seems familiar somehow. But I can't, play it. I can't place it. Excuse me. Okay. So... I do have... The opportunity to play video games. Examine power, examine power box. It's not powered on. There's a yellow and black striped cable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's disregard all 
Caution. Oh, this is locked. I can't go into the basement at this point. Check Not keypad. Until the power goes out. Nah. Not until the power goes out. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, right, because there's that automatic thing where it deactivates when the power goes out. Right, right, right. Uh, so what information do I need here? Check device, 1913. Open door. Can't. Flip garage door switch. I press the button for the garage door opener. It does nothing. The light is on, so it seems to be getting power. It must be broken. Guess the, guess the front door is the only way out. Great. Uh, I read this already, didn't I? Yes, absolutely I did. Okay. Um. I wonder if that is a clue. What? 1978? I mean, it could be. Other way. Nope. Mm. Not that simpler. Not that simple, it seems. All right. It also didn't add it to my mind bank, so... Don't know. Don't know. Maybe. I read the guest book. I already did this. It's fine. Uh, did you ever find your bedroom? Did I find what? Your bedroom? No. Just down the hall from Ojai Cliff. Uh, the thing is, the hallway goes all around in a circle. Let's see here. And it might have been one of the rooms I ducked into, but I wouldn't know which one it was, you know? Open door. Like, whose room is this? I don't know. Interact. There's my car. There's a dog. I read that newspaper already. Let's go this way. Okay, 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock is when the lights go out, seems like. Just down the hallway, door, bathroom, examine mess. Classy. Okay. <laughs> There's the pump being a thing. The output pressure on this pump should be set to 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. The output pressure is 12 PSI, but it's not. It's specifically not. I don't understand. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's just try it. Uh, okay, it went up to 20 when I did it. Okay, there's one there. Six goes into that one. And that one increases by five per. So I need to make it... I need it to be 12. I've got eight. I got eight. Okay, hang on. <laughs> so... I need it to be 12. It fills up the entire left thing first, which is one, two, three, four, five. So I need it. How is it possible to get 12? By rotating this. Okay, so we need, wait, but if I do that, if I, hang on, what does this do? To go in there, we got six left. It does in fives and then it adds to that. Okay, the first one did something different, though. Do that again. The one, two counts. I need it to be 12, so I need to get that far. Huh. Okay, okay, so the circular ones do one PSI each. If we... Hmm, it's five per, uh, but the first one's adjustable. 12... Four plus ten is fourteen. <laughs> That's not helpful. Um, okay, six units. <laughs> I need to make twelve out of five and five and two is no good. Five and five and oh, okay, 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 okay. So we rotate this and we did this on two and then we try that. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Cool. That was dramatic. Infect crawl space. Illich brand static pressure pumps operation basics. Well, now it says the one five times thing. I already know that. I learned that. Thank you. Every Illich brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure syllables, c cylinders that can be arranged in any order. 
Normal cylinders increase VSI output by one per unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders reinforced with a bulkier housing increase VSI output by five per unit of fluid. I had to learn this in order to get access to this. You're not helping. Input fluid amount is displayed on the left. Output PSI value is displayed on the right. Maybe this is just in case you got lucky. Mm. You just tried like one and then two and then it worked and you're like, oh, okay, sure. Jack, I use they, but I realize I still don't know what pronouns do you use. I know this is a weird time to ask, but frankly, no time will not be weird. <laughs> yes, they. they these you. sort of puzzles are classic point-and-click puzzle game. Yes. It's true. Very much so. Very much so. So I got that. That's in here in my brain now, I assume. There it is. Pump's guide. Bathroom pump. 12 PSI. I suppose I have to reset that if I need to do it in the future. Okay. But it's also nearly nine. So, great. Murder Man is on the way. He's on the case. Hello. How are you? I can look at the clock. I don't have a reason to do that, though. Okay, this is the power's about to go out. Power is not about to go out. It's nine o'clock, but when does the power go out? Should be soonish. Hello. Open door. Cliff not here. Cliff is here. Hello, Cliff. I don't want to talk to Cliff. I got nothing. No, no business with Cliff at the moment. Uh, there's a closet here. Oh, it's a hide closet. I've hidden. <laughs> Lightning! And now the power's out. Hi. I will not come for you. I'm running to the basement. <clears throat> basement. Go basement. Okay. Uh, what's this? Check locker. Uh, it's got a big... That seems bad. It made a noise when I pushed it. But not a good noise, either. 17. I don't know what the... I don't know what the actual target is here, though. Huh. Read plaque. Of hollowed tubes and animal, animal spirits, Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, oil, human blood, 1979. This, the body is a machine, the body is a house. The same blood, the same thoughts, recycled, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium to ventricle. There is beauty to the well-oiled symphony of it. The furnace of the heart, the electric grid of nerve endings, lungs stuffed with asbestos, the organs swelling proudly against the floorboards. The crawl space is littered with the corpses of animals and the bodies of men. The lights are on, there's nobody home. But a body gets sick. Wood rots. Machines rust. Houses melt into something worse. Nature abhors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless function of your own decay. A body made to live. A machine built to die. Indeed, I guess. This looks like a thing, but I can't interact with it. There's a cage here. Check machine. <sighs> I don't know anything about this yet. Examine plans they did already. Murder man's going to show up down here somewhere. There's a mannequin. Uh, there's something over here. Look into tunnel. There's a tunnel near the floor that, when I look into the darkness, seems to stretch into infinity. Just looking at it makes me want to hyperventilate. I don't much want to know what's on the other end, but metal bars stop me from finding out. Okay. Leave basement. Okay. All right. Well... Murders are going to start soon. I'm fairly confident. Hi. How Gary? How you doing? Gary, hey. Hey, Emily, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, right. Gary, what the? Good to see you too, Gary. Are you doing all right? Gary, something is up here. I was just here. I saw this place. All you guys. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to know it's a time loop yet. And now I'm, I'm finally doing it. Gary, something is up here. I'm fine. Sorry I'm late. Oh, interesting. I can't actually say this stuff. I'm serious. You look pretty rattled. Long day? It killed us. It came from nowhere. I'm serious, Gary. Something's wrong. I'm already here. We already did this. Can you even hear me? Please listen to me. It came from nowhere. Yeah, just stress from the family. So <laughs> I can't do it. But my wow. my brain knows, but I can't say it. I'm glad to finally made it here. It's going to be a night. Hell yeah. This is just like the old times. Um, but the light, the powers went out. Do you remember something messed up just now? Do you remember something messed up just now? Like I had this weird dream or something scary or something. That would have been a welcome adrenaline spike, buddy. Remember that Hills Have Eyes slash Texas Chainsaw situation in college? 
So you don't remember the power going out. You don't remember us all getting murdered. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. We were driving southwards in the mountains, following signs for a rustic old family fun center. We thought it'd be good for a laugh. Yep. Our smug, detached iron lit us right into a creepy old ghost town. It was cartoonish. Our car didn't stop for a second when we got to that abandoned go-kart track. That The old man had a shotgun in his lap. Gary, please, this time is mu so much more serious. Um, shotgun? The old man in the rocket chair had something in his lap. Probably a big elemental fudge shotgun. Cliff peeled out of there so fast we barely even got a second look at the place. Still can't believe that wasn't a nightmare. Are you feeling okay, Emily? You look like you just did when you got... You look like just like you did when we got out of there. You really can't hear me when I talk about what happened, can you? I guess it's just my imagination. <laughs> that lightning was intense. Gary, you know what's up with the cliff? I can't talk right now. Lightning! That was the type of noise that makes people cartoonishly hit their heads. We're lucky none of us are stricken with amnesia. And it's not even raining out. Yeah, I noticed that too. There's something eerie about it. I hate this place so much. Gary, you know what's up with the cliff? This isn't right. Someone else has to know what's up. Anyway, I'm going to go say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay! Great. Well... Um, flip switch, examine power box. The computer is on an uninterruptible power supply. I guess that means it's important. I guess it does. But it's got this thing on it, which I don't know what to do with yet anyway. Um, flyer from electronic lock. Yeah, yeah, that's the... Whoops. Didn't want to read that. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Uh, this is the thing that has... Not the... No, not this. Never mind. The post-it note led to the color bars, but I don't know what the color bars lead to. Blue, red, yellow. I haven't seen anything like that that I remember. Ah, okay. Look at all. Hello. Oh, that's the other room. I've been in there. Okay. I wonder where Murderman is. Oh, this is the room where I hung out and then died. That's fun. People are alive. Where's the pump up here? Where's the pump up here? There was a pump up here. So I can hear. Guest book. This is nothing. What about this? Check keypad. No. I was thinking it was going to be similar to this, but it's not got enough buttons. <sighs> Where is that pump thing? I don't remember. It's in the room with Megan. Huh? It's in the room with Megan. Is it? I think so. Maybe yeah. the power's out and that's why I can't see it right now? Oh, the power, but no, I don't, I don't know. Yellow cable. I don't remember there being one on the first floor. Hmm, maybe I'm making stuff up. But there was, I definitely saw it before I went into the basement though. Uh, in the bathroom? On the maybe, second floor? Maybe, maybe it was on the second floor? Possibly. Oh, hey, that was Murderman, I think. I think that was someone getting murdered. Oh, he's here. He's here. He's killing everyone on the second floor. I wonder how he got from the basement up there so fast. Or never mind, is he down here? Here it is, 35. Oh, that one. And probably calibrate, drive automatic with gravity, manual drain weaving necessary using this button. Cool. It's 11 o'clock. Sure, there's a bunch of snarling going on. Hey, here's Murderman. I'm panicking. So are you. Hey, it's Murderman. I died. I didn't realize Murderman went that way. Well, I died. <laughs> ah. Well, not much progress this evening. I'm back. Hello. Context? This is different. Did I get followed to the place when I got gas? Maybe. Huh. I recognize you. Huh? You're the one with the sense of being better than the things you're better than. I understand where you come from. I've been there. Hi? I am there. 
What? What are you babbling about? Who the hell are you? What? Can, can I help you? I'm trying very hard to leave there. Are you also in the situation that I'm in now? If you're anything like me, you're probably expecting a reward, but winning only gets you in deeper. Are you trying to find a way to keep your elbows clean? I'm there with you. I see your left arm raise. I'm curious about the state of your right eye. What are you talking about? Sir, please, you're making me uncomfortable. I'm just trying to gas up a car, dude. I'm going to get going now. Who do you show your ticket to? Are you going to the train station? The rubble aside the train station? Are you going beneath the train station? Have a good night. Bye. Well, that was an encounter. Don't follow me. Do not. Hey! I said do not. Great. Great, now it's 7 o'clock. Hello! <laughs> Good night, Felix. Oh, I'm gonna head out. I'll have to text the VOD for the end of this. Good night, everyone. Thanks for sticking around so long, Felix. Passing the baton, Felix. I just came back. Welcome back, Ed. I'm, I'm in a house. I get murdered by, like, the middle of the night every day. Which is pretty cool. I can't talk to anybody about what happened. I'm not sure if there's any point in wasting time trying again. When I'm supposed to be solving mysteries. Okay. So I'm guessing I have to redo the bathroom thing. In order... I don't know if I need to do that in the first place. But I'm guessing the pumps all need to be balanced out in some fashion or another. Alright. I think this is probably the room that's supposed to be my room. Maybe. Maybe. Here's the Heidi room with the computer in it. Oh, that's the one. What? That's your room. What about it? The That one. What? That's your room. Oh, this one here is? Yeah. Oh. Because she said that there was a room down, just down the hall when she was standing in that paper. Uh, room. Okay. Sure, that makes sense. Spect wire... Teal wire comes out of the floor, leads along the hallway. Is this the wire that comes out of the power box in the living room? Yes. Well, I should probably see where it goes. <laughs> but I should actually pay attention. It goes here and not in here. It goes along the wall to this. The teal wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. I guess the power box in the living room powers this on. Sorry. Kicking the cords. Bathroom. Indeed, the pump has to be reset. So I need to set this to two, and then off you go. Mm -hmm. I cannot read the post-it note, but I guess that's fine. I guess it just said that the, um, all it said was it has to be set to 12. But I don't know what the other ones are set to, so that's fine. Okay, so down the stairs and let's see, eight o'clock, open door. This is where that pump is in here, right? Yeah, 35 for that one, but I, I can do the gravity reset. In properly calibrated pumps position above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. When pumps position below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. But I cannot manually drain, so I have to like set things up down there and then come back up here and push the button. Maybe. Did I get anything else new in here? What's this? Ah, locker. Three purple bars. Two wires. Big play button. The play button makes a loud noise when I touched it. Oh. Yeah? The three purple bars. In that button. little room behind the wall, there is that machine that had three different colors, and one of them was purple, and then there were three bars below it that you could move up and down. I don't remember this at all. What Room behind the what? Room behind the wall. You look through the... Oh, yeah. There's that room. Uh-huh. In that room, there's a machine that has three colors and then three hmm. bars. Okay. I'll have a look. That's upstairs, yeah? Yes. That's upstairs. Yeah. <sighs> Leave. Okay, we're going... Over here and up the stairs. Hi. Excuse me. Not talking to you. Not talking to anybody. I go this way. And there's a room. 
I guess it was the other way around, wasn't it? It was all the way at the end. Here. And here, you can look in here. You can't see it from there, but... You can't see it? Or you have to go actually into it? Yeah. Okay, and you get into it. Or the door... This opened when it, when the power went out, didn't it? Maybe. Because I remember running into that other room over there. Yeah. But I can't do it immediately. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind for later then. Or at least have a look at before I die. Hi, Francine. Excuse me. Um, Seven Dracula, manuscript page. Come hell or high waters. Part one festivities. Someone in the corner was playing a saw with a bow poorly, and the theremin warble of it screeched through the house until the man caught the bow on the ragged teeth. It snapped with a twang, striking him in the face. A woman in a shawl poured vodka onto the lightly bleeding cut on his eyebrow. Suddenly there was a joint in my hand, as well as a fresh grasshopper. Who gave them to me? Perhaps they simply manifested there. I may have been soused three drinks ago, but I was in the throes of personal heartbreak, and I'll be, I'd be damned if I wasn't going to have a good time in spite of it. The party gathered as a celebration of the full moon, and it quickly devolved into a celebration of pure debauchery. I had observed a jolly nude man streak across the yard, a comet of pale flesh. We were artists, after all, left to our own devices in a voluminous quantity of liquor and acid. What else would you expect? I let a small gangle of... Gangle? Gaggle of quite pulchritudinous young ladies into the attic to show them the accumulator. They oohed and awed and huddled inside the chamber, impressed with the finely craft... Nothing no, 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 to say about this. Oh, there was Frankenstein. There was Frankenstein. It... There is Frankenstein. The whole of it, but I suspect this is just another one of those where you're supposed to look through a book and find page 110, yeah. so... I just thought it was funny, because of the... Yeah, since that was mentioned specifically. One of the books is missing... Red spines with gold bars across it. I guess if I see a book like that, I should pick it up. Is there any point in checking the other ones? Receipt for construction projects, metal and rebar. Full of bees! Dead bees, individual encased in tiny plastic trays, but, trays, but still. The drawer is empty. The drawer is full of Christmas ornaments. The drawer is full of rulers of various shapes and sizes. The drawer is full of tiny unmarked vials. The drawer is full of rocks. The drawer is full of small plastic baby figurines. Jesus. <laughs> the drawer is full of rubber bands. The drawer is full of dirt. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. The drawer is full of various dye. Six-sided, 12-sided, 20-sided. The drawer just has an empty can of some off-brand energy drink. The drawer is full of tiny skulls. Probably. Mice? Let's go with mice. The drawer is full of pens. The drawer is full of screws. And then there's this one. Okay. Well, that's great. Hello, Francine. <sighs> okay. I get the distinct impression that there's going to be only, only so much I can do while the power is still on. There's 9 o'clock. Power is going out in 14 minutes. I guess I should get ready to go into the basement. No, not the basement. I need to look at this room in here. Let's see what happens when the power goes out. I'm just going to stand here and stare at it. <laughs> I can't see the time because of the light. There we are. 9.10. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How did I get in there? I'm genuinely not sure how I got in there. I don't know if there was like a switch that I messed with or or what. I can run through here to get down over here. Hi, Gary. Uh, why doesn't anybody else have a flashlight, by the way? <laughs> Were you all just really terribly prepared for this? Am I unusually prepared, I wonder? Yeah, you just keep reading the, reading the rules, Cliffs. That'll help. You're a helpful guy. Alright. There's nothing else to see out here. There's just this. But I don't know what the code is. Alright, alright. I'm having a little difficulty keeping straight in my brain what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I'm tired. <laughs> Well, and also because we have no clue what we're supposed to be doing. There's also that, yeah. But like, <laughs> I just need to examine stuff, I would imagine. It's just 
question of what do I get to an ad what do I get to examine? Note with the mine on it. And we can go into the basement. Murder man shows up here first as far as I can tell, but like Okay, what happens if I just run this thing? Twenty-five. It's 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 twenty-five. It stabilizes that. I guess it's fine. No, you have to um, manually drain oh. it if it's. You're right. If you get it wrong, you have to go upstairs and manually drain it. That's the penalty for failure. I see. It's ten o'clock. The manual drains in here. Got it. Okay. So I don't know what my target oh. number is. What? Well, there's 35 left. 35 left total. What? What? Well, when it was partially in the machine downstairs, uh -huh. there was 35. Yeah, 35 was a total upstairs, and it drained from the 35. So you're thinking maybe we have to do all 35 all in the 35 machine? All 35 into the machine, because that's the only other one. Okay. That makes sense. All right, so let's get back down there. Try not to get murdered. I want to at least get a view of the thing. Okay, so we got five and 10 and five and 25. So we're trying to do 34. It's gonna fill up the 10. Let's see what the rotation buttons do. Oh, they rotate like that and these like this as well. I see. Okay, so we need 34. We need to distribute all 34 exactly into the machine. Okay. I thought it was 35. 35? I think so. 35. Okay, 35. With 17 clicks. 17 clicks for 35. Right, because it's 17 down here. Okay, okay. So, if you, okay, if you have five of those clicks going into the five per, that's 25 worth, and it leaves 12 remaining, which is 37 total. So that's not right. We need two less than that. Um, so if we have 20 go in, Brain math on the pause screen. Fascinating thing to watch at 3 in the morning. Um, if we have 4 go into the tw 5 per, then that's 20, and it leaves our leftover of 13, which is 33. So it misses it by 2. Okay. So how do we resolve this? If you 3 go in, it's 15, leaving 14. That's 29. This is far too low. How do you possibly do 35? 5, and then 10, and then 20. But it, it can't get that far because it only has 17 clicks. So we have to get the 5 per unit over. This is a question by how much. Okay. We need, if we're looking for 35, how, how the... <laughs> Can you rotate the second two and then the first two so that it moves the... I believe so, but I'll test it to be sure. Yes. Okay. So that means it would go 25 and then 35, but then we still have two left over. But can it put in more pressure than the thing upstairs can handle? I don't know what happens in that case, and I'd have to manually drain it, and by the time I get back down here, Murder Man's probably going to be out. Uh, if I have two go into the thing on the left, then 27, and then there's still 10 more remaining, so 37, but there isn't 37 upstairs. What happens under those circumstances? I guess let's just try and run it. I'm gonna push this button, and then I'm gonna push this button, and we're gonna see what happens. One, two, 20, 
27. 37. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not ready to solve this yet. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I'm missing something. The game is like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, puzzles. This is the wrong one. Do we? All right. Fine, I guess. Reset it anyway. So... Oh, eh. I was wrong anyway, because it still had 18. So oh. it's number of clicks, not amount of fluid. Right. So that goes into... It's the pump for other things as well. Right. All right. All also, right. the fluid is human blood and oil. Yay! Oh, right. That was a thing, wasn't it? <laughs> Hooray! The whole building is an art piece. Yeah. I already looked at all this. This window doesn't do nothing. Quarter to 11. Murder Man's got to be coming up here soon. Examine console. Is there a reason? Bird. Bird mystery. Whoa, retro. Amazing how these things feel so brittle, but somehow they last forever. Cool. I genuinely don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, this is very brain, and it's very late. Yeah, that is certainly true. That is certainly true. I... I, I, I am driven to solve it, but I also don't know if I can solve it right now. <laughs> because because the reasons you just said. Oh, hey, look who's here. Look who's here, killing Francine. Oh, and he already got Gary, too. Look how efficient he's been. I wonder what panic mode does, specifically. It seems like it probably has clock tower mechanics of some sort, but I don't know what it... Does, you know? They're just standing there like doo -doo 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 -doo. that seems to be what they do, fine. yeah. I don't have a flashlight, so I'm just gonna stand in the dark. Yeah, they sure are. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So, but what can I even inspect? Oh, the thing upstairs might be available. The thing in the secret passage. Oh huh? What? No, it, yeah, I was just gonna say, yeah, right. I forgot about that entirely. Let's see if I can get up there. Gotta bypass Murder Man. I think that was the sound of him knifing somebody just now. Is he still upstairs? I went the long way around again. It is open. I bet he comes out from here. Because there's an elevator there. Mm -hmm. This must be where he shows up. All right, so let's see here. Oh, this! This is what you're talking about. Yeah. Purple. Green and orange. <sighs> Purple, green, and orange. It was the, um... Yeah. Yeah. That one. Okay. Three, one, and two by those standards. Well, let's just, like, fiddle with it. Three, one, and two. If you mess it up... Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. That did something. Made a lot of noise, for one thing. Memory log. He's here. Hi. Please don't kill me. Oh, man. <laughs> but hey, you got a new memory log. I did get a new memory log. I did get a new memory log. I'm glad you remembered about that machine, because I sure didn't. Ooh, we got a new thing happening. Who are you? Pete. Hey, Emily. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been tying yourself in knots, running this night through your head over and over again, trying to think of a way out. You see the house, with its door locked and power out, some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit. Do I? Am I right about that last part? Yeah, I'm afraid that you're dead. I don't know, maybe you just got something to do with this. No, you just flaked on us. I am afraid that you're dead. Don't be too sad about me. That mind game on the computer in the bedroom reminds me of the computers in elementary school. We were supposed to... Oh, it's Minesweeper. Oh. The thing in the bedroom is Minesweeper. We were supposed to use them for the class projects, but all we ever did was go to hunting in Oregon Trail. If you need help with the mind game, you could probably ask Megan about it. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon! Thanks for the hint there, Pete. I guess I was a little bit stuck, so my dead friend visited me, visited me <laughs> from beyond the grave. Synthesizer. 
cool. But I can't get back in there until the killer comes out again, so let's investigate the computer and see if I can figure out the Minesweeper game. And if not, apparently talk to Megan. It is nice that they put in a thing where it's like, are you stuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You seem like you might be stuck. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, this is two, so both of these are. One of these three is, and one of these two must be, which means this one isn't. Uh, this one is, and I don't know anything about the rest of these. One of these two. One of these two. Uh, these two both are... It could be either one of these. Random guess. Okay. One of those... Not this one? <laughs> Hooray! Um, one of these two. This one must be. This one's not. Not. Uh, one of these two here. And... This is a random chance thing, which is, this is, it's a, right. It's probably going to lock me out if I get it wrong, huh? Until uh, you get stabbed again. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> um, so it's one of these two, and it's one of these two. The simplest answer would be if it was all this one, but, hey, look at that. Okay, so then these two are, which means this one is not, which means this one is not. I win. Memory log updated. And that's going to be the answer to the uh, thing downstairs that's also a 4x4 four four grid. That had the mine note on it. It'll work your way around it. Yep. Gotcha. Okay, so the two bottom left and then... Or not the bottom left, but the second up and then the diagonal up. That's not too bad. All right, all right. Let me go have a look at that then. Solving puzzles. Opening doors. Open it! You're going to need to run from Murderman. Maybe. I mean, once Murderman's out here, I'm not sure how much point there is in running away. Like, I mean, there are certain things you can only do once Murderman is here, of course. But outside of that, it's like, well, if he gets in arm's reach, you're probably dead. I can't go into the basement because the power is still on. Can I play, the, can I play video games? <laughs> Megan. Megan, I won't play. Purred mystery. Press start button. Move and jump. No, not that. Move and jump. Grub soft. It's... Okay. So don't get... Huh? Why did that bird... Why did that purred die? I have no idea. Nee. I don't know what's killing these purds. But I assume it's me somehow? Uh-huh. I have no idea how the birds die. I think it may be when you can jump over their egg. Oh, you're right. Ow. <laughs> Dude, I sure have no face at all. This does kill a bunch of time. <laughs> you're absolutely right. You jump over their eggs. I think probably Megan mentioned that, and I just didn't retain it at all. You get extra time. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly eggs. Tree. Ha ha. I showed him. Ha ha. Well, presumably her. <laughs> Under the circumstances, probably her. Nah. This is, I mean, this will go directly up to the point where the power goes out. <laughs> it works pretty well for that. Nah. Nah. I'm getting a lot of points. High score, get the high score in Purd Mystery. I did it. I am the Purd Mystery Mastery. Hey, new zone. Fascinating. But this power is going to go out in several minutes here. <laughs> it almost looks like it loops, but it doesn't actually. I'm going to die. I didn't. Ooh. That was the face of the murderman. Ooh, great. 
everybody's favorite circumstance, that guy's face shows up. Okay. So, the basement. Check machine. We need to go... Here, 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 here. There. Here. Nope. <laughs> I almost wonder... Do you turn on the mines, or do you... I'm not sure. What's this line up there above? That was it. You were absolutely right. Cellar box. Turn on the mines. And now I have... Check power box. We have... Uh, power on. <laughs> power good. That powers the machine upstairs, probably, huh? Yeah. And now I gotta go check the machine upstairs. Not this one. The one over here. This one here. I see. Okay. Oh, um, that's fun. Plus, minus. We need to get to here. Plus to minus. Plus goes that way. It squirrels around this way. But then... Oh. Oh, good. It's one of those. <laughs> okay. So minus has to go to minus. Plus has to go to plus. That might be the case. It says so oh, over there. You're right, right, it does. Plus to minus, no. Plus to plus, yes. Minus to minus, yes. What are those things up here? That goes that way. Okay. So maybe this for that, and then... Uh-huh. There's so much I can... Okay, there, that's, that's not actually good. That's... I can't do both. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Wire puzzles. Um. That's no good. That's no good. I need to get this over here. And I can't change things vertically, so it has to be horizontal solutions. That's... Almost something. What if that goes there? N no. Oh. What? So if I was just realizing, because mm -hmm. there's the two different colored wires that come out of it. Yeah. And that's what the two other, you probably already knew that, but hmm. that one, the bottom one uh, means that it goes to the yellow and the top one means it goes to the blue. I didn't figure that out. You're right. We have to connect them to the side I want to open. So presumably the priority right now is to get the door open. <laughs> right. Because survival seems like good stuff, even if it's not going to actually get me the win, exactly. Um, that actually does connect that, but then this one doesn't go... <sighs> like this? And then like that? No... That's almost right, but it's not. Okay. I'm sure there's logical solutions to this. Like, you have, there can only be so many options here, but, like, it's difficult to... Plus, Murder Man's now going to be out and about. So, like, at some point, yeah, it's going to get shanked. somebody get shanked. Oh, did you? Just a second ago, yeah. Great. Yep, there's another one. Hi. I... Can't figure out the puzzle. We're all going to die. Um, okay. Uh, well, maybe I can solve the other direction. Oh, he's here. Maybe. Hello. <sighs> positive to positive. But this one over here is a problem. Positive, positive. And then... But what do I do with this? What does it do when it's branches like that? Does it, is the branch useless? Or does it mean anything? I have no way of knowing aside from trial and error. That actually goes in the... Whoop! Oh, hey. How you doing, buddy? Where you at? You coming? Wait, did, was, did it clack like that? No, I didn't solve it. Okay. Uh, that's no good. That's no good. <laughs> it, I, 
don't know that I can solve this puzzle right now. That's totally fair. Minus to minus. Oh, hey, Murderman's here. Murderman's here. I'm going to excuse myself. I don't know why y'all aren't running, but like, you should probably try running. Those were the shankings. I apparently didn't panic, so apparently I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Deadman. Sorry, Gary. Okay. Well, is there anything else in here that I can do? Can you use the elevator? Uh, I don't know. The door is looking to elevator. Uh, got a memory log for it, though. I've summoned Stabbyman, I'm pretty sure. Hide. Control your breathing. Probably should have taken the opportunity while his back was turned. He's probably going to come and check the closet, isn't he? No, he's not. He doesn't hear me breathing. Surprising. So I assume that machine changed something. There has to be a reason for doing that with a synthesizer. But what is it? New information is... What? Why did you have me pause, game? It's like, look at the thing you got in your brain. But I don't see the thing I got in my brain. What are you talking about? I looked into the elevator, and it said it did something. Oh, did it? It said, didn't it? I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm making things up. Could be making things up. Try not to run, because I think it'll make more noise if I do. That's a bad sound. He makes a lot of noise, so I should hear him when I'm in the area, but... Are you in the basement, buddy? Oh, you're right there! <laughs> Hello! Okay, hi. Um, please, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Thank you. I'm not great at running, but I'm not terrible at running. I don't seem to, like, stop being able to run, which is nice. All right, well... I don't know what the purple thing changed. That was a dead end. I know that. These guys are dead. I can go upstairs again. <laughs> Whee! Um... Can't open that. Expect device. Don't have power. That so uh, leads back to the puzzle room in the main area. So what did it do? He reset it. Didn't he? Hmm. If he gets here, it's reset. So whatever it is has to be dealt with immediately. But I don't know what it does. There's a mannequin here. It might be that he's just so agitated, agitated by the noise. That he comes here automatically. And then you can run out behind him while his back is turned. But it makes noise even if you get it wrong. Yeah, that's true. But it makes like more monstery noises. Like he gets really mad. I don't know. Yeah. What about the wires on the left? That one's unplugged. Oh, yeah. Can I interact with those at all? No, I can't. That's his gaspy breathing coming up the hallway, isn't it? Probably. I wonder if he can see light. <laughs> it seemed to make sense if he could. Yeah. Oh, it's broken. So I guess you can only hide there. Just for a certain amount. Eventually it breaks. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder why. 
Oh, he was hiding in the his curtains down the hallway there. Uh, where he jumped out that other time. Oh, yeah. Explains why the curtains exist. Yeah, sure does. <laughs> We're back. Hello. How are you? Does the solution exist now? <laughs> oh, you got the negative to negative. Yeah, but I can't get both the negative to negative and the positive to positive is the problem. That's positive to positive. That is two. I think you just have to go up farther. Up farther? Yeah, loop it around more. Which Leave one? the negative to negative the way it was. I don't know which one. I don't know how I did the negative to negative. I didn't actually see it. Oh. That's technically negative to negative. I don't know if it counts. Ah. <sighs> And Murderman hasn't come by lately. <laughs> negative to negative. Positive the wrong side. <laughs> He's oh. here. Yeah, I was talking about the other side. Oh, the, the, the door? Side. Yeah. Yeah, I was working on the other one. Because I assume I'm going to have to do the spotlight before I can do the door. Because it just seems like... Well, maybe maybe you can do both. I don't know. Look out window. Uh -huh. Moon. Moon. Murderman, why you gotta do a thing? Why are we doing this? Why must we murder each other? I mean, you're the one doing the murdering, I guess. Why is that glowing? Why is it... Look at that, it's glowing. Yeah, it's really weird. It is really weird. Yeah. But it's not legible, so I don't know what it says. Not from my ass angle, anyway. I hear clinking. Sure are dead. Everybody's dead. Murderman here. There he is. That's my guy, the Murderman. Possibly Parker? Who knows, really? Does the house just get more and more hostile as the night goes on, just to make it so that you have very little chance of surviving? I guess it would make sense. Oh, I just understood the title. A homebody? Yeah. Yeah? It's both about not leaving the house and also about the fact that the home is a body. Oh, yeah, because the blood on the walls. Yeah. Good point. You got a good point there. So if I use the machine at this point, it'll summon him and I won't be able to escape. So that's not a great idea. There's nothing else to check out in here. I'm holding the button to see if I can, you know. I mean, I'm staying up alive pretty nice, but, like, I'm not sure I'm accomplishing much by staying alive. <laughs> right. Clank, clank, clank. I'm so stealthy. Nobody will hear me coming. Yeah, you'd think she'd just take off her freaking shoes. That would seem to make sense. Maybe I'm worse at running away when I don't have shoes on. <laughs> How you doing, machine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's back. He's back. He's here. He's really not going to let me get away with this, huh? Wait, did he not notice me? No, he's coming. He's got to be. He didn't notice me. There is another hide room in the kitchen. You're right. There is. I don't know where he went. Maybe he went to the basement? Huh. Well, I certainly can't hide in here. Maybe the problem is that if you go in there too many times, the door just breaks. Yeah. I don't know exactly how it works. It's four. No, it's midnight. It it's looped back. back. What? Maybe I no longer know what time it is, something like that. The night just never ends. You can't just outlast the guy. <laughs> well, that does make sense because it would kind of... Eggplant farm in progress. Huh. So at this point, we may be as far into the night as you can possibly get. I wonder if he gets faster or anything like that. Because I've been alive too long. I genuinely... Like... 
that's negative to negative on the one side and positive to positive on the other side, but that doesn't help me. What if I... Dude. That's positive. That... Is that not good? Or it has to be... No? Why does that not work? That looks like it should work. It what if I switch these? Only the crossover makes it not work. The crossover makes it not work. Hmm. Well, that's a pain. How did I have it configured? I don't even... My brain. <laughs> My brains. Oh. I've activated the door. Examine lock, push button. Great, get out. Get out. Run away into the night. The, that's a thing that's happening. Oh, um, there's brain material, and now I'm going to get stabbed from behind while I'm distracted by it, huh? Great. Sure did. <laughs> Not that easy, boyo. Great. Well, that certainly confirms what you said. About what? needing to do the spotlight thing before. Oh, yeah, that it. certainly wasn't the solution. <laughs> Just getting out of the house, not the solution. Escape the house. Escape the house. I did it. It didn't help. Oh, it's you. Hello, Emily. It is Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're that old guy I met at the gas station. I mean, yes, at least I think there was a gas station. Oh, that's Parker. My name is Parker Nest. Is it now? Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. That place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Ugh, please make sense. Tell me, when that creature, the homunculus, when it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? Yes, but I'm learning to ignore it. What the hell kind of question is that? Homunculus? Is that what that thing is? Let's, let's ask about the homunculus. Homunculus? I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you will know why it appears so cruel. Oh my god, you're so pretentious. A little bit! In the attic, you'll find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me about some time before he pissed off to Tangiers, called an accumulator, supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. I built it believing it would extend my halcyon days. Of course, I was in my 50s. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hoped it would help regain some of the feeling I once had. Naturally, it didn't. Was that all you... That's it? Pretty sure all the acid didn't help, dude. <laughs> Instead, over time, it made the house. It made you. It made that thing, the homunculus. And it made a liar out of me. The only comfort that bring, that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you, but it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. Bye. The Accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone can change it or unmake it. Slam. Bye, Parker. <laughs> You're such a helpful man. This seems like a really good point to stop. Because <laughs> I don't think I could recreate solving that anyway. Oh, hey, look. It's like, no. <laughs> Turns out you can't leave. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Oh, man, bravo. Have a good night. Have fun. Thanks for what you're doing. Hey, thanks for coming. And, ha and sleep well. Thank you for sticking around for so long. <sighs> yeah, I'm actually starting to get to the point where my stomach's starting to go. Oh, yeah? Do you need to take it, like, get some rest here, or you got to go? No, I think I'm going to go. Okay. Well, sounds good. Well, thank you for sticking around as long as you did. Yeah. We'll get this thing disentangled. But I am going to stop playing Homebody at this point. I am enjoying it, but it's also, like... It's puzzle solving mostly, but also sometimes a guy stabs you. So, yeah, like, stressful puzzle solving. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, at least he's not fast. Yes. And if you duck him, sometimes he just is like, oh, I don't know where you went. We're going to come over here right now. And that's fine. That's great. High score. Get the high score in Purd. I got only 47.6% of players have gotten the high score in Purd Mystery. <laughs> Heck yeah. 
I, I, I'm winning. Okay. Uh, 